masters in their field. World-class chefs with extreme confidence and incomparable skill. Hi, my name is Mira. I'm, I'm in the middle of making a bolognese, and I've already prepped some of the ingredients. I've already put in one, one half of, of a, a flour, one half of a cup of flour, and one a half teaspoon of baking powder, and one a half a teaspoon of salt, and um, two large eggs, and mm -hmm. one tea, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one one cup of butter melted. I'm going to add some of this. I'm going to add some sugar now. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for when it comes out of the oven. Almonds are ready, and and I'm, I'm about to take them out, and and I set it for for 40 minutes and for 3:25. So by request, I'm going to be doing a seared salmon. Uh, alumni Max Cohen sent me a message on Yamatsumoto and said, you know that really yummy salmon that you used to make? Every time I make it on the stovetop, it comes out burnt. So we'll talk a little bit about making salmon. First, I suggest buying it skinless, but if you are working with a piece of salmon that still has skin on it, you're going to want to fry it or sear it skin down so skin goes first and then the rest of the fish is going to go second. The second thing to know is that when you're searing salmon, you have to just trust that as the color changes, it's getting cooked because that's what's happening. And if you think too much about it and say, oh, a little bit more color, a little more color, in the end you're going to have burnt salmon. So you really, the same as when you're cooking in the oven and you just watch the clock and trust the clock, when you're searing on a stovetop, you're going to just watch the color change, you're going to turn it over, you're going to let the color change again, and you're going to be done. Don't play with it, don't fiddle with it, and don't let it sit too long because it's, it's going to end up without uh, being edible. It's going to be totally burnt. Okay, here we go. Seared salmon, it's all done. I would serve it with a slice of lemon. You can squeeze a little fresh lemon juice on it, and it's perfect. Enjoy. Tab on. <laughs> 